The purpose of today's video is to show you how I built this stamping mill out of Lego. I could have gone with a Mamad or a Walesco mill, but then I started staring at our family Lego bin and I thought, hmm, I wonder. Here I am at the workbench, about to test my proof of concept. I temporarily screwed the Lego piece down to this piece of wood. This fellow is a Star Wars figure that I've already started to modify. I'll build a wall around the back and plank it. I'm going to do a whole workshop. I'll include many of these tools in the workshop on the walls. I had to do a little tinkering. Oh, you want to play with that, do you? Oh, not interested in my steam engine. No. That was a successful test I had yesterday, but I removed this longer piece with a shorter piece and I found a gray piece to replace the brown piece and I think it just blends into the machine better. I also added this red piece on there to see if it adds a nice visual effect. I think that when I finish the workshop, we're gonna have to have a bin of one to 19 scale coins and I'm gonna call this the illegal mint. This really old engine that Takes All Sorts gave me, it works just great. There's a link to Takes All Sorts awesome live steam YouTube channel in the description for this video. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ah, the ball I had on the end of the arm caused the arm to be too heavy and it flung the arm right off. But of course, this is what we do as hobbyists. We experiment. So of course, I had to fix it. The sun just poked around the cloud here early in the morning on Vancouver Island. It's nice. So the stamping mill works just fine. I put the wick and the flame down a little lower. Illegal mint, here we come. The sun's poking out now, it's quite nice. It's a cool morning. I should mention that between stepping it down from here to here, and stepping it down in there, in total, it's an 18 to 1 gear reduction. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, share, and have a great day.